come up to today's video. Today is Thursday already. It is close to Friday. Woohoo! We have a busy weekend planned. We have like plans with friends and horses and it's supposed to be 10 degrees. So that is insane to me. Anyway, uh, before we get today's video started, I wanted to ask you guys a question. I feel like lately we've just been going, going, going. I haven't been able to sit down and have like a big long discussion with you guys. I haven't been able to make my video about Chino, which I am going to make about my video soon i just need to get it together but anyways so anyway this is what i wanted to discuss with you guys you guys know how uh, chino was off for a while and gabby and chino kind of fell out of sync and then gabby met grayfin and suddenly there was this love affair and what i've been noticing is this i once read that horse and rider have to have energies that match to get along and to be compatible just like people like you know how sometimes you meet somebody and they're just not the right energy for you and they're just not the right connection for you and it's nothing they've done and it's nothing that you've done i'm surrounded by dogs it's just an energy issue do you guys believe that is it real is that true do horse and rider have to match in energies I see so many times where somebody will have a horse and say like this horse is the worst horse it's terrible it did this and this and this and then they sell this horrible awful horse and it goes to a new owner and something clicks and that owner and that horse go on to be incredible together and so I don't understand how it all works I'm confused like is it like with people like you have to match energies and you have to be the right kind of personality. Like it's so hard to understand. Brandon tells me that he has a style of horse. There's a style of horse that he enjoys and it's the troubled horses, the ones that need strength and guidance and and probably not Penny. Penny is probably not the kind of horse that he likes. He likes a certain kind of horse and I feel like Sophie likes a certain kind of horse. What kind of horse do you like, Sophie? Yeah, so Sophie doesn't enjoy, Sophie's like me, you don't enjoy a horse that doesn't enjoy what it's doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Finn wants to jump and do barrels and all that. And he wants to move and he wants to go. Finn is a high energy horse. Penny is a high energy horse. Laura is a high energy horse. Sophie is a high. Yeah, Sophie is a high energy horse. You oh, see no. where I'm getting going with this? Gabby is a low energy horse, but so is Chino. Not a horse. She's not a horse. I'm not a horse either. You guys see where I'm going with this? Like, Chino is the kind of horse that is so passive, and it's hard for people who are not passive does that make sense like people who have drive and energy it's hard for them to be around people that don't have drive or energy you guys know all you women out there that are married to men with no drive and no energy it's hard right <laughs> um just kidding <laughs> well then why'd you marry them if you don't like it? no sam and i actually match energies energies really well and it doesn't seem like that but we do like he actually matches my energy level really well i'm more crazy than him but he he has energy and he helps and he does a lot so anyway that's my question i'm going to leave it with you guys to figure it out in the comments below but do you feel that horse and rider need to be compatible to make the right connection and then if they're not compatible what the heck do you do with that it's so difficult to buy a horse when you only have such a limited amount of time to try them and to and to figure them out before you buy them how do you know that your energies will match you keep going to try them until you find out we tried finn two times we tried chino for a week and i don't even know that chino's energy doesn't match gabby's it's getting better when he was low and down and and out and not feeling well his energy his energy just definitely did not match but he's coming back he's making a comeback and i think that things are changing and turning around but that's my question i'm going to leave it to you guys discuss it in the comments and so i can stock the comments and read all of your information and see if i can figure it out because it's really interesting to me absolutely interesting to me like for example this dog 
matches my crazy energy. Matches Sophie's crazy energy. Matches the complaining about everything. Yep, she complains about stuff. She has to have everything her own way. Like she fits us so good. And other people might be frustrated and upset with her and not do well with her because she is annoying. But Sophie and I are annoying. So we match perfectly. Let's get what I'm saying. I know you do. Anyway, anyway, food for thought. Let's get on with the video. Children have worn me down, you guys. It's unfortunate, but oh, you want to know what happened? Tell them what happened. Okay, can you guess who is the favorite child in this family? All right. So Sophia, a couple of days ago, can we please open our advent calendars? Please, all of them. I just want them. And then me today. Hey, can we open these? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay, so That's basically what really happened, Sophie hounding me day after day. Can we open up all? Well, I know it's going to work one day. And then finally Gabby joins in and I'm like, you know what? They're both. I just said, hey. They're both against me. Can let's just do this? it. She's like, yeah. All right, let's just do it. So the girls are going to open their calendars. Just rip it all open. Get everything out of their yeah, advent I calendars. I don't even know why we buy them anymore. I don't want to rip it all open. Spiky ball thingies, the texture. Sophie got spiky balls. They're they're actually really cool. Oh, that guy's slinky. There and are two slinky. different types of people in this world. <laughs> that and that. The kind that just slowly open it, and that kind. Now, you just rip the whole thing open. No, no, I undid oh, it. Oh, that's cool. Are all Gabby's now, day 12 when I don't get anything. Day 12, nothing. So if we get Gabby gets all that chocolate. Yeah. Hope you guys are appreciating that the girls are breaking all the rules. Peanut poppers. Oh, they're cute. Ah, they have two different faces. All right, so these are Sophie's. It's peanut poppers. Easy. And you push it. I <laughs> can't even push it. One. Two. <gasps> It's a Santa's boot. It's a Santa's boot. What is that called? A mochi. A mochi. Oh, I thought it was gummy. I was like, yeah. oh, I'll eat it. Yeah, Gabby and I are like, let's eat it, but it's a mochi. And this is the pea popper. You push Peanut it. Peanut popper. Peanut popper and two little babies pop out. Twins. So this is day 12 and it's a ring. It's an acupressure ring. Acupressure ring and it's little spikes. Acupuncture ring. Yeah, and Whatever. it's really cool. I broke no, one though. An acupuncture. Uh oh, this baby head. is stuck. Its head stuck in Mom, there. Mom, you're breaking oh. it. Ooh, that one's oh, cool. Yeah. It's broken. So uh, she also got a Christmas tree popping thing, popper thing. Big Santa. No. Not your coffee, Christmas. You know what a good idea for a teacher would be? Whoa, pop tubes. <laughs> Mini pop tubes, they're so cute. Look, this is the Duolingo guy. The Duolingo guy on the commercial. No, I have the app. Oh, the app. It's part of my lock screen because it's green. Corner. All right, I'm interested. Would you rather have a toy calendar or a chocolate calendar? Sophie also got a French, French fry popper. Popper. Another mochi. It's a hedgehog. A hedgehog mochi. Oh, it's adorable. It's so cute. We don't know what Daisy's in her crate chewing, but we know that we left it's the room. Pencil. It's a pencil. Great. It's cool. It's a sticky spike ball that's flimsible. <laughs> flimsible. That's Sophie's new Christmas word of the month. Flimsible. I want to see everyone commenting <laughs> that. Comment flimsible. We should have done this in a live video. Actually, maybe we should buy something and open it again on a live video. Wouldn't that be fun? I'll, I'll get another chocolate one. I'll get another picture. Flimsible. Get <laughs> another mochi. Normal, sane people get the chocolate ones. They get the original ones. It's children a get the toy it's ones. It's a bunny. Yeah, because children are not normal, sane people. Mm -hmm. And it's a bunny. So these are mochis. If you've never felt a mochi, then you're missing out on life. They're so but they're really soft ones. and squishy. We'll get the original chocolate ones. They feel really awesome. We had two mochis in this one. And two more. Oops. At this point, I think they just stuff it full. I got a little polar bear, I think it is.
rhinoceros. And a I rhinoceros. Think. That's a polar bear. That's a polar bear. No. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. A white dinosaur. Am I right? Is it a dinosaur? It's a rhinoceros. It's a it looks like Sarah Tops. Mm. Triceratops. Triceratops. Where's the third horn? Triceratops. Try three. Three horns. And they say homeschool people don't know stuff. Um, oh, you're not allowed to mix it up because I don't want it ruined. A mini Rubik's Cube. How many more do you have left? Holy heck. I'm only. I feel like. Oh yeah, Gabby has a lot, but it feels like Sophie yeah, has more. Yeah, because they give us lots. Ooh, I got another peanut popper because you broke the other one. Oh, it's not broken. Where is it? Yeah. It's not broken. Let me see your little face. It's cute. Spiky things. More spiky balls. So she's got four spiky balls. Now they're really cool. Small. Oh, there's a day for hand. Christmas. Day 25. All right, hurry up. <laughs> hey, it's dinosaur people. A dinosaur pee popper. It's a poor little dinosaur that pops babies out of its belly. Ooh, I got another unicorn. Twins. Guts. Twins. twins. Guts. No, it's babies. It's see. twins. I'm seeing a theme of twins. And then there's another thing. That's what I got in day 20. Another even... ring. These are fidget rings. No. Ah, what are they? They're acupressure and Oh, something rings. So these are rings. peas, not freaking baby dinosaurs. Spiky balls. Two more spiky balls, which are the coolest of the whole thing. Six spiky balls. And that's it. Chocolate versus toys. But toys last forever. Until the dog eats them. Last forever in your stomach. No. Gabby, I'm sorry to say, but it does not last forever in your stomach. Last forever on your hips. Forever it forever. Yeah, that's true. I need Gabby to hang up some more blankets for me. And I need to find something so important. What is it? I think it's in here. I need this because Chino be looking rough. I don't even know what the heck this is. Oh, mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, well, unfortunately, okay. I cannot find what I was looking for. How to trick your dog with these. So you put it around your finger and you hold it. Can you feel that? And you go. <laughs> so it's attached to her finger and they think she's going to throw it. Molly is in a grouchy mood. Oh, she got smart. <laughs> right, it's lunch. It is Stop. lunch time for Hi. you. Hello, little girl. One, yes, we're coming, Penny Pickle. Did you hear us coming? So. Oddly, they've hardly been eating this hay that Sam gave them. Slow down. Hey, Penny. <sighs> it looks okay. It's just older than the stuff that... No, you only give one flake in that spot. Yeah, I'm pay taking the flake out for the next spot, Sophie. <laughs> okay. There you go, Gracie girl. Lunch time. There's ice there. That's a lot of lunch. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In it See, and... I don't like ice in a paddock. Oh my goodness. Oh. Next spot. Oh my gosh. They'd be putting hay everywhere now. It's nice back here because the wind, the barn blocks the wind. We should put it all back here. All back there and encourage them to go back there. We're breaking up the ice. I don't know if it's oh, a good thing or I not. What? You know it's winter when. But it's not gonna be winter in a few days, you guys. It's gonna be 10 degrees, which is like, I don't even know what that is in. And it's gonna be warm. That's probably like 60 or something. Hi, Pen. <laughs> Hello. You dirty girl. She's dirty no matter where she is. And you can't change that. And I'll never get to change that. She's just a dirty horse. And you know what I believe? Hey, Penny. Are you scared of me? Hi. I believe Hi, Penny. that you should be who you want to be, you guys. If you want to be dirty, you be dirty. Dad tried to clean shaving gel for my... And if you want to be... Dirty? Be dirty. 
I don't know, be whoever you wanna be. Life is too short and sometimes it takes leaving everybody around you and going off into your own area to learn to be yourself and then going back out into the world. Stronger, better, and more yourself. If cool. someone who's a person, I wanna be their friend. Yeah, if you're a person, we wanna be your friend. Sophie and I wanna be your friend. And remember you guys, Sophie doesn't know everything yet. She's 12, she's still learning. I don't know everything yet. I'm 52, I'm still learning. Go out there, be who you want to be. And if you are a person and you believe in you and you trust in you, I do too. And if you're cold, whew, I don't blame you. It is cold. 10 is 50, it's gonna be 50 degrees. That's super warm for December in Canada. Super Mom, warm. Sophie is catching me a chicken. Uh-oh, Sophie did not ch catch not me a chicken. chicken. The new heated water -er is working great. Our coop is extra insulated, so I'm wrapped more wire or more plastic. And we have the top on top. And we left this part open so if he catches me a chicken. <laughs> They're not very smart. Yeah, so these are supposed to be the nicest, friendliest chickens. So we're working on making them friendly. Her name is Shadow. Her name is Shadow. Right, Shadow, baby. And I'm holding her. She has orange eyes. And she has orange eyes. Gabby would be impressed. All right here. This is my first time ever holding a winter chicken because we always get rid of our chickens before it gets cold and she's so fluffy and big lots of fur huh she's breathing hard she's scared yeah good job i'm at walmart and i'm getting some little things to put in the pro in prize bags because we're doing a super fun challenge weekend for you guys i hope you guys i hope you guys like it like it's gonna be a bunch of people we're gonna be doing fun kid stuff and just enjoying life, you guys. And the crazy thing is, is that Sophie is afraid to do challenges. But because I have like prizes that are yummy, she might brave it up and do it. I'm obsessed with these. What? I don't even make it in the door and Gabby's looking through my bag. Can I, can I eat something right you now? Buy the best type of chocolate. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?